Welcome everyone. Today I'm gonna test out the Logitech G29 because it's been giving me issues. So uh, you know the calibration test that goes on with every Logitech G29 or G920. Uh, yeah, that calibration test, unfortunately for me, has been happening at random times. Just while I'm playing my game, it would go into a spin and cause my game to crash. So this happened on my live streams a couple of days back. I did a two-part American truck simulator live stream and it happened twice. And it crashed my game. So there is a fix. First thing you want to do is you want to unplug it from the socket that you have. Look at the socket. See if you have it in a blue USB 3 socket or if you have it in a USB 2 socket. The USB 3 socket is usually blue. So do not, and I repeat, do not connect it to USB 3. It always has to be connected to a USB 2 socket. That would be anything from gray, black, whatever the case may be, except light blue. All right, that's the number one step. Second step you wanna do is go into your control panel, open that up, and right under hardware and sound, click on view devices and printers, right click on G29, your controller and go to properties, hardware, and these two files have to be changed, at least uh, the driver that uh, that runs them. So what do we do? We press properties on the first one and we go down here. We don't go to the driver. We go down here, change settings, and this window pops up. Now you want to go to update driver, browse my computer. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then click the top one. Make sure that one's selected and press next. <clears throat> and it'll install the new drivers, the, the drivers that it's supposed to have. So you wanna do this twice. So you close it. You wanna close, uh, restart your computer now. You wanna do this for this second file as well. So right click, go to properties. You don't go to driver, go to change settings. Update driver, browse my computer for driver software, and let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Again, you select this one, because this one's selected by default. So click on that, press next. Close, and you can restart your computer now. So that's it guys. Two things, two steps you have to do. Never hook up your Logitech G29 Driving Force Racing Wheel in a USB 3 socket and change those two files. And you're all set. It won't go into a calibration test randomly ever again and it won't crash your game, whatever game you may be driving. So I'm not saying uh, this is happening to everybody. Uh, no, don't get me wrong guys. If you are on USB 3 and your steering wheel is working fine, whether it's G920 or G29, uh, leave it as it is. But if your steering wheel starts going into a calibration test uh, at random while you're watching a video or while you're listening to music or uh, playing a game, if it starts spinning up randomly for no reason at all, then you should look into uh, uh, doing this fix. So I hope I've helped everyone if uh, I did help you out, let me know in the comments below, guys. And uh, don't forget, share, like, favorite, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.